What's up everyone? It's Iceman Oz, aka GA, straight from the places of Kangaroo's Ninjio living room. Back again with another video for you guys. Um, just want to give a quick thank you to everyone who's been supporting on Twitch. Link is in the description if you want to check that out. I like vendors. Today we're going to be doing a tier list. We're going to be going through all the best shooters that have released over the past decade, and even going further back than that. Um, just looking right here, there's a number of choices. A number of games we're going to be going through. And the category is going to be Legendary, which is the top. Uh, Ice Cold, which is great. I would consider a great game, or good. You know, in between that spectrum. Then Meh, it's just average, bad, terrible, and then not played. Uh, which is pretty self-explanatory. I guess we'll just go in this order, right? Okay, so... Alien... I, I haven't played it, so... That's easy. Kill Zone. Um, I played a lot when I was on the PlayStation 2. I really enjoyed it. It was actually my first shooter. No, it wasn't. No. GoldenEye was my first shooter for the Nintendo 64. Uh, Killzone, very good series, but looking back in retrospect, it's probably an average game. And that probably goes uh, for, the other, for the others as well. I haven't played this one. Uh, Resistance, haven't played... I've, have, have I played Resistance? If I have played it, I don't remember. Resistance 2, same thing. Uh, Crisis, I enjoyed actually quite a lot uh, early on in the beta. It was quite impressive. Uh, Crisis 2, not so much. I don't know if we want to put it in the bad or the meh category. I guess we'll put it in the meh category. That's fine. Never heard of that. I don't know what that is. Dying Light. Uh, I played a little bit of it. It was average. Is that Crisis 3? I haven't played it. Okay, a lot of these categories... Okay, Call of Duty Ghosts. Hmm, I don't know if it... I don't know if it should calculate as terrible, because it did have some redeeming factors. But it was pretty bad. I guess it goes into the bad category. Vance Warfare wasn't that bad of a game in retrospect. I don't know why it's two copies of it. Okay, I'll just put that in there. I... Actually, nah, I'll just... Nah, what I'll do is I'll... Yeah, I'll do it like that. There's a copy, I'll just... Not put it in. Uh, Doom, well, this is the remake, right? So, I don't really like it that much. I'll rate it as kind of bad. Counter-Strike is obviously a legendary game. Uh, Global Offensive, yeah. Well, it's going to be legendary, even though I don't haven't played it that much, especially not the past five years. Um, definitely an iconic uh, shooter. Battlefield 4, it's either meh or bad. I want to put it in bad, but most Battlefield fans want to put it in meh. Or good, because it was their first experience. I'm going to put in bad, in my personal opinion. This one's going straight to terrible. This one's going to unplayed. Hardline is... I think it's, it was a great game, actually, in retrospect. Battlefield 3, legendary. Straight to the top. If there was another category I could put on top, Battlefield 3 is the best shooter, in my opinion, of all time. Iconic. Super iconic. Bioshock. I haven't played any of the Bioshock series, which I do need to change. Definitely need to check it out. Wolfenstein, I played um, <clears throat> the first one. Great, uh, was really good. Second one, I haven't played. Destiny 2, haven't played. COD 2, haven't played. Half-Life, nope. 1943. Uh, I have played it. It's pretty good. I put it in the meh category because I haven't played it long enough. But I would... I'd be... If I had played it more, I would obviously put it in a higher category. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'll put it in the ice cold category. I think it's one of the better shooters to release. Um, it's very iconic, obviously. Um, so I think a lot of people would have that in the legendary category. I'm going to put it in the ice cold category. I think it's a great game. I just haven't put enough time into it and enough uh, connection with it for me to rate it legendary on my personal scale. Uh, Payday 2, great game. Very fun co-op title. Uh, very nice. Left for, Left for Dead 2, I have, I have played it lot, not long enough. I'll put it in the meh category. Battlefield Bad Company 2 is an ice cold for me. Uh, I had a little play time, but immediately after playing, I was convinced of how good it was. The original Deus Ex, I haven't played. I only played the remake. This one here. Um, and I thought it was meh. I didn't really, it didn't connect properly with me. Borderlands, I think, is ice cold. I think it's a very good title. Modern Warfare 2, it's either in the... <clears throat> from a technical ga gameplay standpoint, I'm going to put it in the bad category because there was a lot of uh, poor balance uh, choices in that uh, title. So we're going to put that in the bad category. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, in retrospect, had a lot of issues. We're going to put that in the meh category. 
It had a lot of good redeeming factors as well, though. Is that Black Ops 2? I think it is. And Black Ops 2 is in the legendary category for me. Um, people say their first COD was their best. Well, that was one of my first uh, Call of Duty titles that I really got into. And for me, that's that's the game. You know, that's the game for me. Um, Far Cry New Dawn. This is funny. I've got a review coming up on this. I want to thank Ubisoft, by the way. we got to do some sponsor shout-outs. Ubisoft, they were uh, super awesome with me. Um, they've given me a couple of copies, and I definitely want to start doing events with Ubisoft. So, um, from what I've seen so far, this is an ice cold. It's pretty good from what I've seen so far. Not great yet, but it's pretty good. Um, oh, yeah. And by the way, if Loot Crate is watching, please start sending me stuff again. I'll make videos this time, I promise. These, yeah, that they, this is this shirt came from Loot Crate. Anyway, yeah, if anyone from Loot Crate's watching, please sponsor again. Please get back on board. Uh, <laughs> uh, Far Cry Primal have played it. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I got no NDAs. I can say the truth. It's okay. Uh, Battlefield Two, haven't played it. So put that in the unplayed. Portal, haven't played it. Didn't like Titanfall, but it was a good title. So we'll put in the mere category. I think it'd be kind of bad. It'd be kind of weird if I put Titanfall, Titanfall or Titanfall 2 in the in the bad category. Uh, World War 2. In retrospect, I think it was below average. So we're going to put in the bad category. Halo Unplayed. Unplayed of uh, pretty much any of the Halo games. I think I played Halo 3 on my friend's uh, console, but uh, yeah, we're going to put all of these. The Unplayed. Fallout New Vegas. was average. Black Ops. I didn't get enough time into it. Fallout 4. Haven't played it. 76. Haven't played it. Not going to play it. Until they drop it in price. <clears throat> Far Cry 2, haven't played it. I think what I'm learning here is that <laughs> there's just a ton of games I haven't played. A ton of these shooters that I haven't played that I've, maybe I should. Certainly want to. Uh, okay, so now Black Ops 3 is interesting, had limited time on it. I'm going to put it in the mere category. Mainly due to the fact that I think it was one of the weaker Call of Duties, and definitely the weakest Black Ops game in the franchise. Uh, and then we got Black Ops 4, so now we're going to current times. I rate Black Ops 4... In the... It's definitely not legendary. <laughs> um... This is going to confuse a lot of people. Black Ops 4 is a meh for me. It's on the high end of meh though. It's like on the bottom of good and on the high end of meh. Because there is a lot of redeeming factors and there's a lot of content, but... Oh, it can be very, very frustrating to play. There's a lot of crap in it. The specialists are a real problem. So, probably put it there. Far Cry 5 unplayed. Far Cry 3 unplayed. The original Far Cry unplayed. So, just put them all there. Fallout 3 I played, I thought it was pretty good. In fact, I'm actually going to put that in the ice cold category. Uh, Mirror's Edge I played, I actually like the gameplay. I'm actually going to put that ice cold because it's like, it's an interesting um, gameplay. Insurgency, now, Insurgency also gave me copies of their games. I uh, mean, like, I'm a bit biased, but we're going to put that in the mirror category. Armor 3, um, there's very iconic following with Armor, the Armor series. This is definitely, um, from my experience, is an ice cold for me. That's a very great game. Battlefront 2. So the original Battlefront 2. I played it, it was actually, um, actually quite good. Not the Battlefront 2 that came out recently. Because, uh, I mean, that's just... I mean, say what you want about that. Um, 
Destiny 1 put that as bad because of all the hype it had and then it did nothing. And then afterwards, um, when we're finished, I'm going to assess and see if there's any I want to change also. Jeez, most of this list is just games I haven't played. Duke Nukem 3D. Put that in the... Oh, Duke Nukem Forever, terrible. So, so, so there's now one game that has joined Battlefield 1. We're quickly to assess so far. We have Counter-Strike, Battlefield 3, and Black Ops 2 at the front, right at the top. Then under that we have Hardline, Wolfenstein, Black Ops 4, Payday 2. The list is looking quite good. I, there's definitely a couple I want to change though. Uh, as we reach further to the end. And also guys, be sure if you've reached this far into the video to press the like button and leave a comment. Definitely helps out a lot. So I'm put all the ones. Rainbow Six Siege, great, great game. I, that's an ice cold for me. If I played it more, that would probably be in the legendary category. The reason I didn't play it was because I knew if I got started, I'd be addicted to playing it, so. Insurgency Sandstorm, again, from what I played of it, um, it was average. Didn't really do anything. Team Fortress 2, obviously a very iconic game, and just for that fact, despite my limited playtime, it's going to go into the, into the ice cold category. Metro Overwatch, haven't played Overwatch. Mirror's Edge, haven't played the original. Planet Side 2, haven't played it. Metro, haven't played it. Prey, haven't played it. Perfect Dark, nope. Battlefield 2142, have played it. And, uh, I think they should go to a futuristic Battlefield. I think that'd be interesting. Not now, I think they should go modern for now. But a futuristic Battlefield, not one with jump packs and that, but something more based in reality would definitely be a good idea. Paladins haven't played it. I've played the Halo, but not enough to judge. Most of these, Dishonored 2, haven't played it either. So a lot of these, I'm just gonna. Metro, nope, nope, Quake. I have, no, I have, but not enough to judge. Killing Floor, nope. All right, I think that should be fine. Black. I've heard of it, but I haven't played it. Alright. Alright, so here's our list. These are the ones that could be ranked. These are the ones that are unranked. Now, the ones with the not played, I may just put into one of these lists just based off their thing, but I don't know. Alright, so let's see what we got. Uh, so we have Counter Strike, Battlefield 3, Black Ops 2 at the front. Then we have Hardline, Wolfenstein, COD 4, Payday 2. It's looking quite good. Then we have the Mare Games, Kill Zone, Crisis, uh, Bad Company. Two, that doesn't feel right. That should be ice cold. Advanced Warfare, 1942. Modern Warfare 3, I think, should be ice cold. But at the bottom of ice cold. Black Ops 3, New Vegas should be ice cold. The original Killzone was kind of interesting. I'll put that as ice cold, just because of its um, iconic sort of nature I had with it. And... Uh, my experiences were um, quite good. Call of Duty Ghost, I may even put that in terrible. Duke Nukem 3D was the original, so that wasn't too bad. Destiny, I think I should put in terrible because of how much money it had. But, I mean, like, it's got some redeeming factors. I'll put it in the bad category. That's fine. So I didn't like Insurgency that much, even though it's quite a decent game. Advanced Warfare, from my opinion, even though it is, I think, overall a meh or a good title, I'm going to put it in bad because I didn't enjoy the futuristic um, style in terms of, like, booster packs and stuff. Uh, Bioshock, yeah, I haven't played. So these are all the ones I haven't played <clears throat> or haven't really put any uh, significant time into to judge. So there it is, guys. That's pretty much the list. Um, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm sure we'll all have our agreements. We all have our opinions, whatever. It's all good, baby. Be sure to check out the stream. Twitch.tv forward slash IcemanOz. I'm the best in the game. I'm the fastest in the game. That's it. So if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like on it. And um, I think that's it, guys. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and peace. Mm -hmm.